Um, I just want to talk a little bit about real estate with you guys. I'm passionate about real estate, and that's really the reason that we do these seminars and that we talk to people. We've been doing this for about 10 years in California, and we've gone to just seminar after seminar here. But just recently, last year, we've been starting to do them here in Arizona because we want to tell everyone about uh, real estate and why we think it's such a great thing. So, um, this, this is a, an interesting, uh, who, who here has uh, heard anything negative about real estate recently? <laughs> that, was a, that wasn't a very hard question, was it? Everything you read is negative right now. And quite frankly, they're not making a lot of it up. There's a lot of real stuff going on. Inventories are at record highs. But if that's stopping you from making decisions, I want you just to kind of read some of these things in the past and, and just kind of let you get some context. The price of houses seem to have reached a plateau, and there's a reasonable expectation that prices will decline. That was in Time Magazine in 1947, two years after World War II. Houses cost too much for the mass market. Today's average price is out of reach for two-thirds of all buyers. That was in 1948, and the average price at that time was $8,000. <coughs> Who would like to buy a home for $8,000? Who would like to buy a car for $8,000? <laughs> The goal of owning a home seems to be getting beyond the reach of more and more Americans. Business Week 1969, at that time, the whopping price was $28,000. You can get a pretty good car for $28,000. The era of easy profits in real estate may be drawing to a close. That was what the experts had to say in Money Magazine in 1981. If you're looking to buy, be careful. Rising home values are not a sure thing anymore. That was also in Money Magazine in 1981. Most economists agree a home will become little more than a roof and a tax deduction, certainly not the lucrative investment it was. That's what Moody Magazine said in 1986. We're starting to go back to the time when you bought a home, not for its potential money-making abilities, but rather as a nesting spot. Note that this, this was in 1993. It was the absolute low point for real estate values in Los Angeles. Now, anyone, everyone knows about the savings and loan scandal that happened in the late 80s, early 90s. 93 was. I mean, you can't really tell them, but if you look back historically, that was the absolute low point. That was the time that, if you were buying, and the Los Angeles Times said, um, it's not true, not your time. Financial planners agree that houses will continue to be a poor investment. That was also in Kipling's Financial Magazine in 1993. It's weird that financial planners who have such a stake in real estate uh, say that same thing. A home is where the bad investment is. That's the San Francisco Examiner, 1996. I love that date because that's already after three years after it passed. And what happened is real estate didn't go shooting back up, but that was three years past the bottom. <clears throat> Here's an article that it's also it said the newest hotspots are being settled by buyers searching for more affordable homes. After doubling in sales price over the past decade, well beyond gains in income, some people are heading to the valley fridges to find bigger houses for the money. Others are looking for value in inner cities and blighted areas. Uh, when is the, what do you think that article was written? What's that? Nope, that, uh, that article, it says there's no way for me to support seven straight years of appreciation has to last some time. That was, the name of the article is Home Values Peak in 1999 by Catherine Weger in the Arizona Republic, April 16, 2000. The reason I tell you that is because I believe in real estate. I'm passionate about it. <clears throat> And right now, I think might be one of the very best times, not might, I believe, and right now is the very best time I've seen in my young career of investing in real estate. We represent buyers. What kind of market is it right now? What, what you guys said buying market, what uh, constitutes a buyer's market? Low prices, low inventory. Yeah, that's the magic word I believe, inventory. Uh, in Maricopa County, the average inventory is about 28 to 32,000 homes. Right now, we have 57,000 homes on the market right now. In the middle of 2005, does anyone know how many homes were on the market during the heat of that crazy market? 7,000 homes. So that put immense upward pressure on prices. And right now, with almost double the amount of homes at normal inventory, what's that doing to prices? It's putting downward pressure on prices. But you have to look at one thing, and that's the fundamentals. What's, does anyone know what job growth and population growth are like here in Phoenix? Yes. They are excellent. You're exactly right. We lead the nation. We're either number one or number two, depending on the age. 
Hi, Tom Caldwell here. You just watched a little piece of video from a seminar that we do monthly here in Gilbert, Arizona. If you want to watch those, we've archived those at freeinvestmentseminar.com. Or you can contact us at 480-834-9200. We also have a website, www.brewercaldwell.com, for more information. We hope you enjoyed this seminar, and we hope that we can help you with all your investment goals here in Arizona.